Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you, transcribed Monday through Friday, by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Mama's kitchen isn't so bad in the light of day. You mean the flood waters have receded? You wouldn't know anything had happened, almost. The only real casualty is Mama's double boiler. Chalk up one double boiler we owe to Mama. Half of it's all right. I mean, there's only a hole in one pot. It ought to single boil pretty well. That sounds on the complicated side. David. Yes, darling? It really is nice to be an architect. What do you mean, nice? I mean, it is fun. An architect must have a good time being an architect. Come on in, darling. I can't hear you. Ouch. Nicked myself with this confounded razor. I forgot to bring a new blade with me when we came over to Mother's last night. You nick yourself badly? I live. Sure, an architect has a good time with his... Ouch. Now what's happened? I just nicked myself again with this confounded razor. Oh, guess I'm not used to talking while I shave. Why talk, then? Well, it wasn't until you started. No, but you were singing. That's different. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I'm so happy about. It's contagious. You caught it from me. I just uncaught it. <laughs> I just remembered that we have to have dinner with your Aunt Louisa tonight. Well, we have to eat somewhere. It might as well be at Aunt Louisa's. On the theory that if you're going to be shot, you might as well be hung. We wouldn't be settled enough to eat at home anyway. We can leave early. Mm-hmm. It certainly takes more time for two people to get up in the morning than for one. Naturally, it takes twice as long. David, stop. If you kiss me, it'll take twice as long again. Oh, darling, you smell pretty. Well, that's a nice way for a man to smell. I love the way men smell of shaving soap. Have you had a lot of experience? Oh, dear, and I tried so hard to keep my past a secret. <laughs> David, mm. I never dreamed an architect did more than just draw pictures on paper. You never dreamed an architect doesn't do what? Doesn't do more than just draw pretty pictures on pieces of colored paper. Oh, where's my tie? Oh, here it is. That's only the beginning. He supervises the construction, schedules the work, gets the mason finished before the carpenters start, and the carpenters out before the plumbers, and the plumbers out before the electricians, and the electricians out before the painters. An architect's work is never done. In that case, a woman should be very useful to an architect. Very useful to this architect. Indispensable, in fact. I don't know how this particular architect ever got along without you. Oh, David, we'll never get to breakfast. No. All right. Come along if you'd rather eat. I wouldn't rather. Oh, darling, I can't believe we'll be in our own apartment tonight. It'll be like a honeymoon. I wish I could be sure the painters will be finished. They will. I told them we couldn't wait, and they promised they'd be out. I don't trust painters' promises. It's my woman's charm. Are you sure we'll have something to sleep on? The store promised, too. I ordered the beds to be delivered this afternoon, and and, and the kitchen stuff's coming. (laughs) Maybe I have been missing out in not having a woman partner. Well, you've got one now. There was a lot of furniture and boxes delivered for us. Yes, I put everything in the bedroom. Everything in that little room? Is this going to be awfully crowded? Oh, I move it out again when the painter is finished. When the painter finished? He promised to be all through today. He will be. At five o'clock sharp, he will be finished the floors and out. So you've got to hurry, Mrs. Norton. I certainly will hurry. Mr. Norton will be here any minute. I give you your keys and I will be downstairs if you want me. Thank you, but I, I, I don't think I'll need you till tomorrow, Fritz. You just call me. I will. Look out, Mrs. Oh, you're the painter. What are you doing here? Painting. Hello, Mrs. But you promised faithfully you'd be finished with the painting this afternoon. 
Won't you be? Sure, I'll be out just a little more to go. Careful where you walk. Over there. I left a path for you into the bedroom. Thank you. Oh, it never fails. What, the path into the bedroom? No, lady. Tenants wanting things in a hurry. They just don't seem to want to let paint dry. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been a nuisance to you, but I was so anxious to get in. Always people are anxious to get in, and then come the moving men, and they don't care a thing for paint. Just slam, bang their way around. Oh, that's too bad. Nobody cares about a painter. Paper hangers is the worst of all. Paper and paste all over the place. Competition, I guess that's what it is. Yes, I guess that's what it is. But we're lucky we aren't having any paper, at least. All paint. Yeah, but you'll be having moving. Now, well, look out, lady, for the wet floor going to the bedroom. Oh, watch out. Yeah, that's what they all say. Oh, uh, someone else coming. Hey, mister! Not so fast. Wet paint. You can't come in. I'll watch out. Now he'll watch out. How am I going to get this floor painted if people are going to be tromping across it? I promise I won't tromp. You see, I live here. Oh, that's different. The lady of the house, she's in the back. You who, David, here I am. Keep to the path that leads to the bedroom. All right, darling. Did you hear what he called me? Isn't it wonderful? What? The painter. He called me... The lady of the house. I don't know when anything has made me feel as married as that. Look, David. What? Sun's gone. Well, maybe it has a date with some other apartment down the street. <laughs> we better hurry now and get dressed for Aunt Louise's dinner. Did you say dress? Didn't I tell you I was so busy? I just... She called this morning and asked specially, and I, I, I told her we would. Well, that was nice of you. You promised your Aunt Louisa, and I'm the one that has to crawl into a boiled shirt. Why do we have to dress up? Well, that's what I didn't tell you. Well, tell me now. Well, Aunt Louisa thought it would be a good idea for us to meet her friends, the Van Merrills. Why? Because they are going to do over their house, and she thought it would be nice for them to meet an architect. In a boiled shirt. Do you know what I think? Nope. I think Aunt Louisa is a colossal pain in the neck. But you'll go. There's no possible way of getting out of it? I'm afraid not. I'll... Anyway, Mom will be there, David, so it won't be so terribly bad for you. Now, let's see if our friend the painter's finished. Hmm. Coast is clear. Come on, good. I'm all ready. Hold on a minute. What's wrong? Your painter with the persecution complex has painted himself out the front door, and he's painted us in. But, David, he couldn't have. He promised he'd be finished and we could move in this afternoon. Stop and think. Did he actually promise that we could move in this afternoon? Well... Did he or didn't he? Well, maybe not exactly, but... That's what he implied. He said he'd be finished this afternoon. And any sensible person would think that with the painter's gone... Any he... sensible person would know that paint takes a number of hours to dry. That's very inconsiderate of it. Anyway, couldn't we tiptoe across? On the theory that tiptoes don't count. Yes, yes, we could. But we'd leave our pretty little tiptoes permanently recorded on our living room floor. Oh, but couldn't they paint it over tomorrow? They could. And you would undoubtedly get yourself painted in again. Only next time, it might not be my luck to be painted in with you. But we've got to get out. Wet paint would say, we're not going to get out. Oh, you seem to be enjoying this. I have half an idea you planned it all. Oh, me? I, I had absolutely nothing to do with it. David, this isn't any joke. What about Aunt Louisa's dinner party? Yeah, I was thinking of that. What were you thinking? I was thinking how nice it was we couldn't go. Oh, but this is terrible. What is so terrible about being cooped up with me? But Aunt Louisa! The best laid schemes of mice and men often work out in the most wonderful way. But, David, the Van Merrills and the cousins, and the dinner was really being given for us. Oh, darling, I've ruined everything, and I wanted to be such a help. Oh, you're a magnificent help. You couldn't have done better even if you'd known what you were doing. <laughs> to be really honest, I don't want to go either, only I... Only what? Only there's a cloud to every silver lining. 
If we miss Aunt Louise's dinner party, we won't have anything to eat. We'll starve. Oh, no, we'll, 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 we'll get food. Now, you see. Wait a minute. Uh, Fritz! Uh, Fritz! David, you can't scream out of a window like that. The neighbors, what will they think? I don't give a hoot. Uh, Fritz! Uh, Fritz! Something's wrong up there. Someone wants me. Over here, Fritz. Could you come up here? Yeah, Mr. Norton. I'll be right up. Good. Thank you. He was just two floors below. Oh, David, you've ruined our reputation. That's better than ruining the paint. I'm not sure. I am. Darling, I feel like an awful fool. <laughs> Did I say you weren't? But it's such a silly thing to have done. People do lots sillier things. <laughs> They fall out of love and get divorced. Uh, and... Mr. Norton? Oh, here, Fritz. Is yeah. something wrong, uh, Mrs. Norton? Don't come in. The floor's wet. Oh, what a trouble. The painter told me you had gone out, but you had not gone out. Very definitely we had not gone out. And now it would seem that very definitely we are not going to go out. Oh, what a trouble. No troubles at all. In fact, we can manage beautifully with your help. Oh, what could I do? Well, if you get a long broom, for an example, you could reach some food across to us without touching the floor. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, there's the food. Well, if you could run down to the delicatessen, for an example, you could get some. Four roast beef sandwiches. No, no, couple... no. Two cheese and two roast beef, then we can split. All right, with mustard and some pickles. And olives. Sure, sure. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> But, David... Yes, I know, Aunt Louisa. I'll fix that, too. Can you reach the telephone there in the foyer, Fritz? Yes, I, I can reach it. Plaza 54077. I am dialing it. Plaza 54077. So I dialed it. Uh, now what do I do? You uh, ask for Mrs. Brown. Tell her you have a message from Mr. Norton. <laughs> Mama will be there by now. David, you're not an architect. You're a genius. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Brown, please. Who? Oh, who am I? I'm Fritz. Yeah, I hold on. Uh, uh, somebody speaking Irish says what I do want to speak to Mrs. Brown about. What? Oh, it is Mrs. Norton's mother now. Oh. Uh, just a minute, please. No, no, this is Fritz. I have a message to give you from Mr. Norton. A message from Mr. Norton. Oh, Mama, I think something terrible has no, happened. No, there hasn't been an accident. He is with Mrs. Norton in the bedroom and he can't come to the phone. No, the painter painted him in. Yeah, painted him in with a brush like uh, like painting. Fritz, you're a genius. Tell her we can't come to dinner. Uh, he says we can't come to dinner. I, I, I mean, they can't come to dinner. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, goodbye. Oh, she was very excited. Then she was laughing. She said she doesn't doubt you bribed the painter to do this. <laughs> Mom is awfully understanding. But Aunt Louisa just lives to organize other people's lives. Well, there's one thing Aunt Louisa can't organize, and that's wet paint. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. Let's see what's needed to make Thursday's holiday complete. How about your supply of Coca-Cola? You'll want plenty of ice on that day of all days. You can have Dad pick up a case at the food store or service station when he's driving by. He's always glad to oblige when it's Coke you ask him to bring home. And the children are happy to see that case of refreshment and hospitality. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir and remember. Whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes.